Hello guys, this is Alex Davino and this is the fourth tutorial of the Laser Cowboy series for Blender and Substance. This video will be about hair particles. In this tutorial I will be talking about the basics, the material, the particle system and the particle edition. This with the objective to increase realism to the project. First I gathered references the more the better and then I divide the hair particles in three areas of the cowboy the beard, the hair and the mustache also I divide different hair types between rough and smooth in practice you only need an emitter that can be any kind of mesh the particles will you decide the length, the number, if the hair is rough or smooth and the material, this new material is the principle of hair PSDF for the material you need to go to the render menu and select hair after that go to the material menu and add a new one this new one is going to be for the emitter and make a new material this time for the hair Select Principal Hair BSDF and select the color by melanin. And this in the lower part you select if you want a darker hair color or a blonder one. First you go to the particle system, add a new one and select hair. After that in render select the new material here. In path select B spline and I put the steps at 8 and also the strand steps with the same number 8. Then go to children and select interpolated and change the display mode. After that I'm going to use the clump core to design the strands. Here you can see how it works. you can use roughness in this case I'm going to use 0.5 and also use the roughness curve to design in which part I want the roughness hair and in which part I want the smooth hair And in kink, you select the design of the strand. Go to a mission and select how long you want your hair. And the number change it to zero. So we can decide where to put every strand on particle edit. First go to particle edit and go to point select mode. Now go to Add, Properties, and in Count select one strand per click. In Keys I use 4, and in Path Steps use the same as before, 8. And also select Children. Now with one click you will add a strand. I 
I go back to particle system to fix the hair number in children display amount. But to see this you need to change to object mode. Now you can see more hair and it's easier to design. Use club curve and roughness curve again. I go back to particle edit and use comb to move the hair. With right click you can select a vertex and with Ctrl plus you increase the selection. And with add you can add more strands. Now select comb and move all the strands together. Now I go to render mode and put a basic lighting setup. Then I go to the material and select melanin concentration. So if you have one, the hair will be dark, but if you have something lower like 0.2, you will have a blondish color or even white if you go to zero. In this tutorial I explain the basics of the hair particle system, the material that we used that was Principal Hair BSDF, and how to manage the particle system and particle addition. With this, we increase the realism to the project. I have uh, some free assets and also paid ones. The free pack includes a clay render and the laser cowboy bag, ready to texture this last one. The limited pack includes a mapped scene, so you can texture it in Substance Painter the complete pack that includes everything that I told you before and also five materials made in Substance Painter. So if you like this please subscribe and the next video is going to be about smoke simulation in Blender 2.80.